All right, Tubes, just to show you what I've been working on lately because I know a lot of people have started to actually view my videos and well, I've got 10,000 views on one, so I figured, well, okay, cool. We'll just kind of do a little bit of an update for why I haven't been doing my bigger systems, my, you know, Crossfire, my ah, SLI videos, all that stuff. Well... Recently, I got a house. When you get a house, you realize you can't do quite as many projects. You got a few more bills. I'm not in my mama's basement no more. Yeehaw. But this is a build I've been slowly parting together. I've got... Let's see here. I've got my 160 gig 10K Western Digital Drive. This is my terabyte and a half. And this is my terabyte. My fan on Western Digital. Even though my terabyte and a half is a Seagate. I forgot it was a Seagate. This is going to be replaced. This was actually not even for that build. It was for this one. My cute little Pentium 4. Uh, beaten up old rig. Two gigs of RAM, she started giving me issues, I got irritated, I picked up this board again. I did have a skull trail for a while, it burned up on me, but I love the performance of it. Now we've got a different video card in here, this is a 3870X2, which I've had given up, had and given up, I mean it's... A prostitute. It goes back and forth between me and my friends quite a bit. We're running, or gonna be running, two 3 gigahertz Xeon processors. They are E5472 processors, 12 meg cache, all that crap. They're pretty good. I've only got one stick of RAM right now. It's DDR2 fully buffered dim. It's 800 megahertz, but even when I only had 2.5 gigahertz processors and 533 RAM, 4 gigs and single gig sticks, I was actually outscoring a Phenom 2 processor with, I think, 8 gigs or 16 gigs of RAM. I can't remember. But this is my build right now. We're going to do a quick... Update for the Thor V2 because this is a new Thor. And buddy still got the other one. Now, besides, you know, being huge, this case still just barely fits an extended ATX motherboard. But it's not really, you know, it's made, I this motherboard makes this case look like a mid-ATX tower fitting this. Which is kind of awesome. But just one of the things that needs to be updated. Rosewill did finally update the Thor. It does have the 20 pin motherboard connector finally. Which I know is kind of a downfall for this case. It never had that before. But they finally upgraded. It's still got a crap load of cables coming out of here. But you know what? It's got a built-in fan controller they actually upgraded the knobs for it let me turn her around here but they upgraded the knobs they're bigger they're thicker they're tall well, actually they're they seem stubbier to me but they work still two usb 3.0s still two 2.0s your fancy little power button yeah you got power to it yeah that still got the bat wing 230 two Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I almost lied to you. One, two, thirty in top. Um, I actually changed out the fan on the front one. That's also an LED now. We've got this LED fan. That's it for LED fans. I added this one. This is an extra. This is a Cooler Master, 120 mil. It's, I kind of wanted to put a 140 in there, but I don't have a 140, so whatever. That's what you get. Uh, you got your 140 in the back, blah, blah, blah. You know, we're just 
pretty much going over random crap we already have. Anyways, this is my new bench. As you can see, I still enjoy boxes and all this crap, but that's me. My nice little Logitech keyboard. It's small, but damn it, I love it. Cooler Master Hyper. Wait, no, TX3. Good little power supply. That one's missing a fan right now. This is the actual one. I got a wire tangled on there, and I don't really have three hands. Oh, hey, and it came right off. Awesome. But, whew, I got two of these. These are going to be running on here. Now, with the two and a half gigahertz processors, I overclocked them to right around 3, 3.2, and these kept those processors right around, I'm thinking, maybe 40 Celsius under load, maybe 50. I got pretty good temps with it, so I'm happy with it. All right, um, anything else I'm missing here? I don't think so. I want to get my 850M again, but I can't. Right now I have a, well, an HP XW8600 motherboard just kind of chilling out on my wall. Why? Well, simply put, it requires a special power supply. I'd rather have the skull trail than have to have a special power supply and socket 771 heat sinks. That's just me. And we come over here, we look at my wire bundle and mess and crap just to come over here and look at this oh, okay now a lot of homes don't have this i put this in this it's just a little network switch that goes straight upstairs to my router a lot of people don't know why i enjoy wired connections so much but you know what? You get a lot less latency with a wired connection than you do with wireless. It's just the nature of the beast. The less cable you have in between you and the router, the better. If you have a repeater, you're going to add a little bit of latency, but I was only getting a 6 millisecond latency with probably a good 40 foot of cord in between me and the router which I'm not going to complain about. It's a great connection for me. Yeah, my zoom sucks. But, that's what I got. All right, tubes. Anyways, I'm getting out of the basement, going up to sit on my butt and watch TV. Man, quick little update for you. For now. See you later. Bye.